Hey guys, this is a uh, video response that I'm making for the so-called Malware Research Group. Um, their little video that they have online that shows so-called Komodo failing their uh, test because it provides a meaningless alert if you look at the new one. First thing they chose, uh, they said that uh, this uh, known security application that they're installing um, gives you a meaningless alert actually no it doesn't uh, that alert that you see on their image uh, is and I'll go and grab it so you can see it too it says that the application is untrusted and it's unsigned right and what do you want to do with it because it's an unsigned application right so don't blame Komodo that Corbitech didn't sign their application Uh, maybe if maybe they should go and get it signed and then there won't be any more problems with it uh, they I think they on purpose went and picked a um, security application that wasn't signed and I'm gonna show you right now what that looks like I'm gonna pause it while this downloads okay so this is how this is the alert if you read the alert it says Corbitech anti-malware setup is an unidentified pub publisher. That means that Corbitech didn't go to Komodo or um, any of the other signing companies and get their software signed. Then, if you actually read what it says, it's not a digitally signed uh, has not digitally signed their application. Hence, the origin of this application should not be trusted. And then it says, if you are unsure press the sandbox button. That's actually a very reasonable alert. It's not a meaningless alert because if it's meaningless to them then they don't know jack about anything. Um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna install it right now but let me show you how Komodo reacts to a real signed application and they also said well we could get our uh, little tool signed by somebody and you wouldn't get that pop-up. Actually you would still get that pop-up. The only difference in the pop-up would be is that you could trust the vendor but you'd still get the pop-up unless you're on this my trusted vendors list and even if they got their application signed they wouldn't be on this list and they would still get that pop-up so there's still no way around it unless they can get on that list which they never would um, this is panda cloud antivirus this is a signed application it really is signed and if you go to my trusted vendors list and you scroll down where are they and the software. They're on the trusted vendors list. I'm going to also show you what it looks like when you have an application that hasn't made it to the trusted vendors list yet, but it's still signed. Let me pause the video and let me grab one. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. This is the new Hitman Pro 3.5.6.105. This is a signed application, but because the program has been changed in the trusted vendors list, Komodo does not yet recognize the new executable. It, you know, when you change the program, you change the MD5 and all that fun, fun stuff. So watch what happens when I double click it. You see the Defense Plus is not red because it is signed. I mean, it's yellow. But it says, um, has not yet been whitelisted by us. You, so even if they could get their application signed, you would still get this alert. Because it hasn't been whitelisted by Komodo. Simple. Right? So now let me show you what happens when I install PanaCloud, which has been signed and has been whitelisted by Komodo. Oh, look at that. It runs without a problem. So in the end, what's uh, MRG proving? Nothing. Means they don't know how to use Komodo, and in reality, what they're just trying to do is make it look bad. Um, you know, if anybody's got any questions on this video, but I think it's pretty self explanatory they're trying to get around something and they can't any every video that they put out is just more meaningless you know things from them. they don't know how Komodo works then don't try to use your application if you don't know how the program works simple as that uh, let me show you here I'll just wait and uh, I'll show you what happens when this is done downloading okay here you go here's the program from Komodo extracting and it's everything's working just fine not a single pop-up from uh, from Komodo it works just like it's supposed to. Uh, I also wanted to say that the reason I'm making this video is not because I wanted to show off or anything like that. It's because the first video that they put online, 
people actually agreed with, with what I was saying. They took it offline, and now they're filtering every single response somebody writes back to their new video. So I doubt anything that I write is actually going to show up. But now because I'm making this video and I'm saying that it's not going to show up, it probably will show up. So what can you do? But I have to make this video because it, they're getting on my nerves. They don't know how to uh, properly test programs. And it seems to me like the only reason uh, some of them are passing is because they like them. Their uh, test is not actually a test if the uh, program actually protects the computer. It's a usability test. I've already said that once, and I'm going to say it again. It's a usability test. They want everything to be automatically done for you. And that's why uh, they like some applications and others they think it's meaningless alerts. Um, there you go. You can see Komo or, uh, Panda Cloud is installing and not a single alert from Komodo. I think there's no more point in continuing the video right now. I kind of showed you what I had to show you about their so-called uh, application and uh, their little signing and all that junk. And there you go. There's Komodo installed or uh, Panda Cloud and uh, running in the background. Oop, it's already opening. Got to give it a sec. It's the hard drive's going nuts here. Anytime. Oh, I have to restart. I forgot. But anyway, um, I, I've been running Panda Cloud and Komodo together just for testing purposes, and they, they work fine together. So that's it for this uh, review. Oh, you know what? I'll come back when, uh, when this reboots just to show you that it does work. There you go. I rebooted, and it works just fine now. Um, show you. Double click. Open. And look, it works just fine. Everything works hunky-dory. Not one single pop-up from Komodo. Not one. Uh, I don't have an internet connection. Uh, so you can see what I mean. That's it on this video. I don't have anything more to say for this one. If you guys have any questions or whatnot, uh, please ask on the uh, uh, on my YouTube page. I will provide a link to their video so you can watch what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm on the Komodo forum. So if you guys have any questions or whatnot, ask me there. Take care.